What's going on? It's your boy Devil's Door. Today we're doing another action figure review. Today we're going to be doing SH Figure War Tamashi Nation Bandai Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Son Goku. Big shout out to my man Phil from Fordham Comics who made it possible of making this review. He had these joints at a very decent price, so I picked him up. And I gotta say, man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I got him because I wanted to know what the big deal was about these figures. I used to be a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. When I mean huge, I loved them. I had all the movies on VHS. I had everything, bro. Everything, I used to collect the old school Bandai figures that had no posability. I had uh, level 3 Super Saiyan Goku, Majin Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta. I had a lot of them, man. But they didn't, they weren't, they weren't as posable, man. They were like statuesque. And uh, they, it bummed me out. And then I just got tired of it and I grew out of it. And I stopped collecting. I stopped watching. And that's it, man. But I got to say, these figures are sick. These joints are sick. I think I'm going to be collecting these man I don't know I don't know some of these guys are hard to come by now in these days and I really do want a Vegeta because Vegeta is my favorite character of the series so let's get this dude open I've got to say man this figure is sick I think I'm gonna be collecting these guys but I don't know these guys are kind of hard to come by and I do really want a Vegeta because Vegeta is my favorite character so let's see how that goes maybe I will get him maybe I won't I don't know maybe he'll be my only Dragon Ball Z I really want a Vegeta, though. Now that I look at these figures, man, these joints are sick. It comes with another head sculpt. Face sculpt, actually. This is his more serious face. Right now, he has a screaming face on. You can see here, he's screaming, he's pissed. <clears throat> the posability, man, is crazy. He comes with his... Oop, I dropped one. He comes with his Kamehameha fist, hands. His fireball hands. He comes with his meditating hands. He comes with his destructor orb hands. That that I forgot the name of that shit. It's been so long, man. That move that he got when he comes down, he's holding his hands up, he forms a big ass orb and it could destroy planets. He got his fists. Nice scope work, man. Nice flowing. His gi is flowing. Looks real nice. I love the look. The only thing he's missing is his um his logo on the back. Oh, he made in China. <laughs> made in China. He's missing his his logo. On the back, this is a lighter version. I do remember Goku being a darker orange, his gi and his suit. But he's this this figure is nice, man. His he got he got um his sleeves are independently movable. They're attached to his ball joint and shoulder. But he's sick, man. Look at this, man. Nice. He got small feet, tiny little feet. And stuff very nice figure man I have to say again I do remember him being a darker orange he had a logo back here with his kanji he's dope man look at that look at the work man. nice you gotta take you know, that's how you take his face off you remove the front of his head you pull it comes right out you got the plug Go back in. His hands come out easy. Nice move, man. His his articulation is cool too, man. He doesn't look up much, which is kind of a bummer. He looks down that much. His head moves side to side. He has ball joint in his shoulders with a nice arm armpit joint. Bicep swivel, double joint and elbow. His wrist is a swivel and it pivots all the way around. He has a crunch. Goes back that much too. Gotta be careful. Got a nice waist swivel. Got a nice waist swivel. 
He has the SH figure art hip joint that goes up and out so you can get them kicks up. You got them high kicks. It's the hip joint right there. He has a thigh swivel. He has a double jointed knee. And he has an ankle swivel and a, and a rocker and toe articulation. figure is dope man I do recommend them I really do if, especially if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan I don't like how the <clears throat> the knee the knee joints look in the back it looks funny but it's made for the calf to fit so it could bend all the way which is okay I mean I don't think nobody's gonna see the back of these figures when they play with them or pose them so but these figures are dope, man. Like I said, I'm gonna try to see if I could get me a nice little, a nice little uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan or regular. I know Trunks, Trunks go for dough. He goes for money. I've seen him, especially recently. Somebody posted and they wanted 150 dollars. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's crazy. What the? Oh, his ninja power hand. These joints are sick, man. I can't. I can't. I can't hate on SH figures, bro. I can't. As much as I want to. I'm ready. I already got almost all the Power Rangers. I'm just missing the Red Ranger, the yellow, black, and blue. I got the green, white, pink, and armored red. So I'm gonna get that. Those reviews are coming soon. Well, that's my review for this figure, man. Get him. Get him. He's cheap. He's a re-release. Um, he's pretty good. I got him for 35 bucks. They run him for 40 everywhere else. Go check out my man Phil. For them comics, link is in the description. If you're in New New York City, in the, any of the five boroughs, the Bronx preferably, go check my man out, man. He's been there 31 years, going strong. He's not overpriced. He's the coolest dude you ever know, man. He throws uh, Magic the Gathering card game nights every Friday. He he be staying there till like two, three in the morning. Them suckers be playing. But check him out. Link in the description. His name is Phil. He got a Facebook. He he got mad stuff. Be people you hit my man up. Anyway, that's the review. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. You already know I talk. Holla at me, people. One.